What is going on, everybody? Back for another video. We got this problem I found on the internet. They want to know the height of the parrot. So there's a couple of ways that we can work this. And uh, we're going to do it both ways. So the first way that we do it, we're going to set up a system of equations. All right, so to do that, we're going to let x equal the height of the man, and we're going to let y equal the height of the parrot. Okay, so if you if you look at this, this would be the distance from here to here would be x. The distance from here to here would be y, and just like over here, this height here would be x and this side here would be y. All right. So, let's set up our let's set up our system of equations. So, if you look at this first picture here, you can see that x plus y is equal to 200. So, we'll write that down. x plus y equals 200. And then this middle picture here, do you see how we have x this distance here x and this distance here y. Well, if you have this height x here and and you subtract off this distance y right here, you're left with 170. So that's telling us that x minus y is 170. Oops. All right. All right. So now, well, what can we do here? Well, system of equations, we can add the two equations together, and that's going to get us give us 2x, and x plus x is 2x, y minus y is 0, and that is equal to 370. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2, and we get x is equal to 185. And, and I don't, it doesn't give us any units, so 185 centimeters, I guess, or whatever it's in, okay? But this is the height of the man, all right? But they want to know the height of the parrot. Well, to find the height of the parrot, all we have to do is take the 185, and we can plug it into this one or this one. It doesn't matter, okay? So let's just plug it into the first one. So I've got 185 plus nah, 185 plus y equals 200, and then I'm going to subtract 185 to both sides. I get y is equal to 15, and that is the height of the parrot. All right. Then you know which let, let let me know in the comments which method you use to solve this thing but we'll erase this and we will go ahead and uh, start working and we'll work it on the we'll work it the next way all right let's erase all this up here all right all right so now let's take a look at this all right so let's use uh, i don't know i guess we can we can use this a blue color, I guess. I don't know. All right. So, so l let's look and see how we can solve solve it another way. Well, if you look at this, if you take a line and you draw it straight across, okay, that's the height of the man. And take another line. and draw it straight across. There's the height of the parrot. I know it, it, that line could come down a little bit, but it's it's at the top of the... i tell you, let's do that again. Let's, let's make it a little bit better. Okay. There's the height of the parrot. All right. 
Let's draw this one. Let's draw another one coming out this way. Like that. All right. So this is 170. You see that? That's 170. Now, notice this. The distance from here to here, well, that distance there in red, and then this distance here, okay, you see that, let's, let's draw this in here, okay, you see that, this distance here, we'll call it x, and this distance here is also x, because those two heights represent the height of the parrot, those have to add up to what, they have to add up to 200, which is this which is the total height, whoop, which is this total height here, is 200, minus 170, which is, equal, whoops, which is equal to 30. And so, what would the height of the parrot be? Well, if, if this, if this and this add up to 30, so we got x plus x equals 30, 2x equals 30, divide by 2, x is equal to 15. And you can see we get the same answer for the height of the parrot. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.